today our verse is Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill them. We need to clarify what Jesus means by the law and the prophets. The law sometimes strictly refers to the Decalogue or the book of the law. But in the general sense, it also referred to the entire Torah, that is the five books of Moses, as they were called. The Hebrew scripture is divided into three parts, the Torah, the law, the Nevi'im, the prophets, and the Ketuvim, the writings. You can read this in the book uh, of Sirach, the prologue. Jesus in this verse refers to the entire Hebrew scriptures at his time. As we know it today, the Hebrew scripture had not been canonized at that time. That is, all the books had not been agreed upon. However, the law and the prophets were already well known and accepted as part of scripture. Our verse is within the teaching of Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount. For that down, Jesus is going to say to the people, You heard that it was said, but I say to you, so it was proper that Jesus clarified his relationship to the Jewish scriptures. He has not come to abolish, but to fulfill the scriptures. The two key words for understanding our verse are the Greek verbs kataluo and plero. Kataluo means to destroy, to demolish, to loosen, or to dismantle. In terms of invalidating an institution such as law or sacrifice, it would mean to annul or to abolish. Plero means to make full, to fill up completely, to bring to completion something that has already begun, or to fulfill a prophecy or a promise. From the meaning of the words, we already see that Jesus clearly says that he did not come to destroy what was there in the law and the prophets. He has come not to abolish or to set them aside. Instead, he has come to bring to completion something which was already in the process. Scott Hahn correctly observed that the law in this sense can be seen as imperfect. It does not mean that the old law was useless. Rather, the old law was holy, spiritual, and good, and served as a custodian until Christ came. Read Galatians chapter 3, verse 24. The old law was only the first stage of the revealed law. Quoting Scott Hahn, he says, The old law contained much that was transient and temporary. Consequently, many of the old laws of Israel, such as those regarding diet and divorce and remarriage, were no longer necessary as they had fulfilled their function. Jesus comes to make the law perfect and to bring it to completion. Some aspects of the law were given because of the stubbornness of the people of Israel. You can read the prophet Ezekiel chapter 21 to 33. Jesus comes to correct those aspects and to set them in the right context as God intended them from the beginning. For instance, the law concerning divorce. Read Matthew chapter 19, verse 8. The difficulty is knowing which of the old laws were transient and temporary and which were permanent. The key is the Decalogue, which God gave to Moses. They are the fundamental and they are unchangeable. That is why Jesus rightly summarized the Ten Commandments as two, the love of God and the love of neighbor based on those divine laws that God gave to Moses. Lord, thank you for teaching us that you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. Please, Help us by your grace to live according to your law of love. Amen. God bless you and I wish you
a wonderful day.